So here I want to show you an interesting bug. We click some points, change around our colors. We get new colors, but they're all changing. What the heck? Every time I change my color, not just my new point changes, but all my points change. Now, why could this be happening? This is a this is a really fascinating bug. So, here's our global variable for the selected color. Here's our sliders. And all we're doing when we move a slider is we're changing the value of this selected color. And then where are we using this selected color? We're using it down in our click function. So if we scroll down to our click function, every time we get a new point, we push it onto the G points. Every time we get a new color, we push it onto G color. They should be each keeping their own color. When we get down to our draw, we're looping over all of the points and we're sub extracting this color that we saved at each point. So how can it be that all these colors are changing? So this turns out to be because of the nature of JavaScript and arrays. So after much debugging, because I'm coming from a, another programming language, I found out that the copying of arrays, because this is an array, we've declared this thing, when we declared gselected color, this thing is an array type that, that we're keeping here. It's not a single element, like a single floating value, is copied by pointer. So when we push, this G selected color, we're really pushing a pointer to the selected color. So then later when we come and change the selected color, all of the pointers in the, um, in the list that we're creating here all change together. So the problem is we don't want to push a reference or a pointer to this array. We really want to make a copy um, of all the elements in the array and make it. So there's a couple of ways to achieve this in JavaScript. So I've already got those put here because I was debugging. So here's one way. You add this dot slice. So if you're not coming from JavaScript, which I wasn't, this means nothing to you. But if you Google some web pages, you'll see what it does. And it has some additional functions if you put parameters. But for our purposes here, it forces a copy of all the elements in the array. So let's see what happens if we do this. So here's our colors. We, we change around all our colors here. Now we, can, now we can have new colors, and our list keeps them set separately. So another way that you can achieve this, uh, I want to keep this commented, comment this one. Another way we can achieve this is to copy all of the elements separately, because if I copy a float value, that copies by value. So here I've extracted the first 0, 1, 2, 3 elements of the array, constructed a new array, right? This bracket is constructing a new array out of these elements, and then pushing that on. So this also behaves the way that we would want it to behave. What doesn't work is just trying to copy the whole array, because we copy only the pointer to the array, and then everything goes haywire when we When we make changes, everything changes together because we're copying that pointer.